for one people it is I again welcome to the journey YouTube channel once more today we're gonna talk about fear yeah uh, based on the fact that we live in an electromagnetic universe and here is electromagnetic energy yeah so we'll go in depth of well not just here free form dreadlocks because it's already it's a nature to the way your body walks, it's where the ear walks with it naturally. The ear naturally coils and forms the lungs. Naturally, that is, um, it's in the ear's nature to be. That is the nature of walking. That is where the ear walks with it by its natural essence. It is to coil, king, and form the antennas. <laughs> you know, so, alright, boom. So, dreadlocks you now, free form dreadlocks. Um, so, Alright, if the ear is left uncombed and touched, it will naturally kink, coil, and form dreadlocks over time. Like, say, it starts immediately, man, once you not touch it. Because, alright, say you comb out the ear to it, as a black person, you comb it. it alright, say you comb it now. Comb it out and you will get it wet or something. Or not even get it wet, you just comb it out and then you lay down or something. It will start to kink up and not up because that is what you want to do. So no matter how much time you pull it out, it will always try its best to not up and coil up and form dreadlocks because that is where the ear is do. That is where it is doing it to help you. <laughs> you know, it is doing it for your benefit. And other people don't know that when they try to curse them, they say, oh, oh my god, you have my ear too um, hard to deal with. But the ear is not hard to deal with. The ear does not do what you want to do by nature. And you just leave it, you don't try to force anything, you know, it's all in natural, it's all ear control. And the more you try to change the way your ear <laughs> wants to grow, and the more you have put stress on your ears, you know, because military people stress out over you know, doing them here, and you know, and in a minute, of sense, the ear wants to turn very lots, so leave it when you turn very lots. It's a little fair reason, there's no, there's no coincidence, <laughs> there are no coincidences in this universe, everything happens for a divine purpose. Every single thing, even if you can answer the purpose, everything happens for a purpose. Alright, think about this, just think. Why would the divine, or why would God, or whatever you call it, you know, I call it I, you know, because I am. So, why would your higher self put you in a reality where you have no connections to your surroundings? Like, it was blank, you know. Um, why would you know? You know, no sense to do that. So this is a connection to your surrounding. This is what you get connected. This is what you get connected to. Your, the spiritual realm, your spiritual self, your ancestors. This is a spiritual connection, right? That is why the ear um, coil, spiral, and turn in a gridlock. You got to form antennas. It's forming. Um, so what we going at? So alright, gridlocks now. They are antennas to the spiritual realm. In an electromagnetic universe, the air electromagnetic energy. This is all used to communicate with the electromagnetic universe, with the divine. This is all used to communicate, receive information, send out information, you know. So yeah, the dreadlocks now repels negative energy or people who have negative intentions about you and it, it attracts um it downloads information which is then pro processed by the brain and then you can understand it. You understand so you need it to actually get information from the cosmos. This is how ancestors used to get information. This is how um, the prophets this is how the prophets knew what they knew from back in the days because they used to have long hair. People used to have long hair back in the days. Nobody never saw them here because they knew the importance of hair. So in today's society we even get a uh, Good job, then require a fee because they hear our groom it in some type of um, need. <laughs> you know what? Need is based on perception, you know, but uh, whatever your perspective is. And this is need to me, I love this, you know. So, yeah, so in today's society, they get in some schools, you know, they require the children and to put them here and yeah, yeah, yeah. they even wonder why why the system has um, trying to make everybody put in here they wonder why they must say they look untidy or unkempt 
Ni tak alo ni tak fulus. Dua itu apa tu? Nabi ni kalau ini dia cakap dia fulus. Help you. That's all that I feel. Your beard, your hair. Electromagnetic energy and you know see no other being on this planet going around cutting off the hair. You know see the dog I cut off in here. You know see the cat I go around and I cut in here. You know see the bird they must strip off them feathers off of them. You know see the ants I cut off them antenna. Why? Because they are not important. Yet. And you know see it connect them to them to them self. You know to source energy. You know. Because that's why they know what to do. That's why that's why they are so connected to everything that's going on out there. You know, the animals because they are connected. The dogs them have um, them fur and them have the whiskers. Yeah, the whiskers are like antennas. The ants have antennas. Where are humans antennas? We must have antennas if every, if every other animal have antennas. We are just like every other being on this planet. And in order to survive in this realm, you need a connection with the realm. You know, you can't survive in a, in a spectrum, you know. Well, properly, okay, you can survive, you know, but you have to suffer. And you probably get consumed by everything you have on because you're not, you're not connected to source. So, in order to, connect it, to be connected to source, this is the connection. So, alright, so, what you're lucky you know, it amplifies your thoughts and intentions. So, it's also a to manifestation, you know, so it amplifies your thoughts and emotions. Send it out to the cosmos, get back information from it. You know, that's the send out and receive. It's like the antenna. That's, you know, how we can produce it. So, the send out and receive information, it helps with manifestation because your thoughts are created in your you know, brain or whatever, you know, and then the ear. That's why your ear grows on top of your head. That's why the longest ear, which is this, grows on top of your head, which is the crown chakra, and which connects. The crown chakra um, deals with spiritual enlightenment and everything there. As you see the yogis them and them shamans and those people, they always have long hair. The <laughs> great yogis in India and in place, most of them have long hair and most of them have dreadlocks. So, just think about why those, why they would have been there. You know, them connected, you know, and they know exactly what to do. And, may I tell you, you see, they <laughs> never always have dreadlocks. Start going to relax. Last, last year, yeah. It's actually like um, 40, my 14th month or 15th month, yeah. I thought last year, June, yeah. From scale, like we just have like scale table here, and then we just leave it from that. We don't about trim again. We just decide to leave it, you know. Like I ourselves keep on telling myself I need dreadlocks. I mean, I didn't know why I needed dreadlocks. So now, I just let go and know say trust. I myself was telling I need dreadlocks. I trust myself knows best. My hair just knows best. So I just trust growing dreadlocks. Then while growing my dreadlocks, I started finding out things about dreadlocks. So I never know. And then now, I started to say, oh shit, no, that's why my hair wants to grow dreadlocks. <laughs> it's like, well, it's like, yeah. Uh, so it repels rep 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 negative energy and people who have negative intentions toward you, you know, like attracts where you want, manifest where you want, it's so like a cheat code in this dimension, but well, not a cheat code, it, it makes your life go smoother, it makes manifestation easier, you know, so it's like Bob Marley, not for, them, not for the rappers, them. a lot of the rappers, them, you see them, a lot of the black rappers, they have dreadlocks, most of them, young thug, little big, well, yeah, um, a lot of them, you know, can't remember them names, you know, but if you check the levels, most of them there were people that have dreadlocks. And that's why I say them reach for them reach, you know, they have grown and manifest them reality, them dreadlocks that help them. And I'm not little way, you know, all them people are great, some of the greatest musicians they ever know, Lenny Kravitz, from a free farm dreadlocks, but I was thinking about it, why? Why Why you have those free farm dreadlocks, hmm? Why did Bob Marley go free farm, free farm dreadlocks? <laughs> you know, you have a lot. You don't want everything to like, you just want everything, just, just think. But your ear actually, it actually forms electromagnetic coils, like you see the spirals and the black people here, an electromagnetic coils, like, you know that the more coils, the more the more turns that are in an electromagnetic coil, it amplifies the, elec the el electric energy, electricity, that pass through the, the coil. So you see, that's how we hear coil and not up, and it actually just 
build stronger electromagnetic current or build stronger um, electromagnetic uh, building a stronger electromagnetic field to communicate with the electromagnetic magnetic field of the earth because so, you know the earth have an electromagnetic field man, magnetic field too humans have an electromagnetic field too plants animals everything and there is a way of every single being communicate with the electromagnetic field of the earth this is our way of communicating with the electromagnetic field of the earth all right what does an antenna do antenna picks up signals sends out signals and like break them down into the ear understanding because that's how we hear this collect literally download information from <laughs> what my colleague the cousin was i don't know where the information comes from because i'm in a physical form now. so i'm thinking we just i can grasp the information but like it's kind of difficult to explain sometimes but may i explain it as much as possible as clearly as possible as i can explain it so that's good if you look closely at free farm grid you realize the one we can't really come up with this camera you realize that it's actually it, after the ear coil and spiral it starts to like shed ear to like build a coating like round round this build a coating around it like it's actually have a coating you know on the ear inside you can actually see the ear come from here so and then a coating the shed ear to actually form a covering like like we have a wire so this wire is it can kind of electricity you know uh, and it has to have a coating so the coating actually protects the wires inside and the ears are like, like wires and electromagnetic coils you know so it forms a coating similar to like to this around it to protect um, the, the wire the electromagnetic coils so that's how it goes like free farm it <laughs> literally a farm like a protect a farm a shield you know from negative energies from you know one you know, all the things that we you know of yourself. And it's a attract the things that we want that I keep them in it. I don't know the information. Lock in the information, literally lock it, lock it in and repel negativity, repel what you don't want, repel whatever you don't want to manifest, you know, and attract whatever you want to manifest. That is the power of your life. Like the human being is like the most powerful thing on the planet where you can find is like body if you really study your body scientists study your body and if you check the levels most things where you see arm around your television it up at radio that very similar to how our body work I feel like them study we black people and then start to build things like television and them things they yes, start for what they study about how we communicate because the TV have other antenna and all them shit the radio to pick up signals and channels and whatever and the same thing with your ear same design you know same design a lot of people don't know so knowing that now very most powerful being on the planet if I get the calling to grow your ear grow your ear to the reason free farm can I tell you it, it changed my life completely it's like a, it's a form of grounding in energy and then keep you in the present moment and it makes you not give a fuck how <laughs> people want to say yeah, it's an excellent uh, it takes a lot of confidence to rock a ear like this not a lot of people have the confidence then I worry about people that would think about it I don't care, I don't matter they would think about it they would think about it they would about it but what you can do is control your reaction to people you have control over that you take control over that, right? so yeah, so that was oh, three foreign friends <laughs> I can resonate with a lot of people, you know. If we can resonate with you know, on a specific journey, man. everybody have a different journey. And that's why you see free farm get very everybody free farm get different simply because everybody frequency different, everybody ear, everybody energy different. You know, the ear have a farm antennas based on where you need to based on where you need to hear about it. So the antenna, the way my antennas farm is based on my needs. And there are some people who have smaller free farm there are some people who have some bigger free farm grid. It's based on what you require for your journey. That's the way you hear it too. And depending on your, on your thoughts, 
personality. You know? That's what you throw there here. So yeah. So that was the end of the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe if it resonated with you. And yeah, continue to tune into the frequency. Come on for the journey. As you know, because this channel is called the journey. The journey of life, the journey of what cannot be seen. You know? So yeah.